वेलकम बैक टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम 3.26 एंड इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज़ गिवन दैट टू सॉलिड शॉफ्ट्स आर कनेक्टेड बाय गेयर्स एज शोन इन फिगर एंड आर मेड अब ऑफ स्टील फॉर विच द अलाउेबल शेयरिंग स्ट्रेस इज सेवेंटी थाउजेंड सेवन थाउजेंड मेगा पी एस आई नोइंग दैट डायमीटर ऑफ टू शॉप्स आर रिप्रजेंटेड एट डी बी सी इज वन पॉइंट सिक्स इंच एंड डी ई एफ वन पॉइंट टू इंच डिटरमाइन द लार्जेस्ट टॉर्क टी सी दैट कैन बी अप्लाइड एट पॉइंट सी सो फ्राम दिस फिगर यू कैन सी दिस इज शॉफ्ट ए बी सी एंड दिस इज शॉफ्ट डी ई एफ द टॉर्क दैट इज अप्लाइड एट शॉफ्ट बी सी इज टी सी वाइल एट शॉफ्ट ई एफ इट इज टी एफ क्लियर ऑल्सो द गेयर एट पॉइंट ए हैविंग रेडियस फोर इंच एंड गेयर एट पॉइंट डी इज हैविंग रेडियस टू पॉइंट फाइव इंच ओके सो वट वी हैव टू डू फ्राम क्वेश्चन आई हैव ऑल्सो रिटर्न द गिवन डेटा दैट अलाउेबल टा अलाउेबल शेयरिंग स्ट्रेस दैट इज टा टा अलाउेबल इज सेवन थाउजेंड पी एस आई डी बी सी डायमीटर ऑफ दिस शॉफ्ट दिस बी सी शॉफ्ट दिस बी सी शॉफ्ट इज वन पॉइंट सिक्स इंच वाइल डायमीटर ऑफ दिस ई एफ शॉफ्ट इज वन पॉइंट टू फाइव इंच सो वी हैव टू फाइंड द लार्जेस्ट टार्क दैट कैन बी अप्लाइड एट पॉइंट सी सो दिस इज द लार्जेस्ट टार्क दैट वी विल फाइंड दिस लार्जेस्ट टार्क दैट विल बी अप्लाइड एट पॉइंट सी सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द Uh, with the solution, you can see we have short BC and we have short EF. So we will first uh, solve for short BC. So from short BC, you can see diameter of BC is given as one point six inch. So from here you can get radius, which is equal to DBC over two. so c is equal to 1.6 inch divided by 2 which is equal to 0.8 inch okay now we know that uh, sharing stress is equal to t into c divided by j where t is torque c is the radius and j is the polar moment of inertia so here it is given that maximum sharing stress so maximum sharing stress is equal to t into c divided by j j okay so for short bc this uh, uh, for short this bc we have torque tc so so this maximum sharing stress will be equal to tc into radius of diameter bc of rod bc which is c divided by j so we are interested in find out torque in shaft c so this torque will be equal to to max which is maximum sharing stress into j divided by c now we know that j for solid shaft is equal to pi by 2 c Four. So you can put the value of J over here. So we will get T C is equal to tau max into pi by two into C four divided by this C. So from here you will get this torque T C will equal to pi by two into tau max into C three. because this c will cancel with 1c so we will left with this equation so this is the torque for equation from which we can find the torque now we will put the value uh, we know that pi by 2 maximum sharing stress was uh, 7000 uh, psi so i will write 7 Uh, sorry, seven thousand psi. So it will be seven thousand seven ksi. We have converted into ksi into c. C is zero point eight inch. So again, this was zero point eight power cube. So from here, you will get this T C is equal to 
5.63 kips into inch so this is the torque in shaft torque that we have calculated in shaft uh, bc clear now we'll move toward uh, shaft ef so shaft ef is this shaft clear so diameter of this ef is given as i will show you this is the 1.25 here it is written so 1.25 inch so radius will be equal to def over 2 which is equal to 1.25 divided by 2 and that is equal to 0 0.625 inch so this is the radius of shaft ef now we know that uh, similarly just like here we have uh, uh, the torque equation for c so again tf will be also equal to pi by 2 tau max into its uh, radius of uh, shaft ef cube i have just uh, written this equation in order to save the time you can repeat the procedure like this in order to get this torque equation okay so now you have tf is equal to pi by 2 again tom x is 7 ksi into radius is 0 0.625 cube so when you calculate it you will get this tf will be equal to uh, you will get this tf is equal to 2.684 kips into inch so this is the torque in shaft tf now you can see that since uh, I will choose another color, you can see that that this uh, that this due to this torque T T C, this gear will move in this direction in in this direction, clear, and it will apply a force on this teeth, and this force will be like this. This is f a which is the force due to gear a now when this apply a force on this uh, uh, gear d clear so this is the force now this force f a is equal to this f a is equal to torque c divided by r a and r a is 4 newton uh, in simply you can see that torque is equal to force into perpendicular distance which is equal to r so torque in this uh, uh, gear a is tc so tc is equal to fa into r so how you will find this f this f is equal to fa is equal to tc over ra similarly this force is applied on this gear d and it transmit the force are uh, force to this uh, gear d now due to this force this gear d will rotate in opposite direction and same this uh, this force f a will be the same for two gears because they are at meshing at point of contact this force will be the same so we will use by using static equation i will write it by using statics clear so you can see that force f a will be equal to force f c because this gear f uh, this gear a is applying force f at f a and on reaction the force that is applied on gear a is f c and this f a is equal to f c now f c f a is equal to tc over r a i will show you again this force f a is equal to tc which is torque in this uh, in this gear clear divide by its 
radius and f d is or f c sorry this is f d so correct it f d force in gear d so this f d will be equal to as we know that torque is equal to force into r so this torque f is equal to f c into r d so f c will be equal to t f or r d so i will write it t f or r d now we are interested to find out the torque at point c so this t c will be equal to t f into r a or r d now we have t f which is 2.68 4 ksi into r a is 4 inch and r d is 2.5 inch so 4 over 2.5 inch 4 by 2.5 inch so from here you can calculate this tc will be equal to 4.30 kips into inch again you can see that one torque apply the torque that is uh, that should be applied on this shaft bc is this one this one and the second torque we have calculated by using statics is this one so we have two values so allowable torque so in conclusion allowable value of tc is the smallest one So what is what will be the answer? So TC will be equal to 4.30 kip into inch. Why we are choosing the smallest one? Because if you choose this TC clear and you you will uh, you that will not satisfy the static or equilibrium condition. And this one is satisfying the equilibrium condition. So again, for safety purpose, we take the smallest one. So this is the your required answer. I hope it will be clear to you. Thank you for watching.